Hey everyone, how are you? I hope that you guys are having an awesome day today. I'm sorry, I'm just inviting a few people to pop into this video because um, I think it's gonna be super valuable, super helpful for all of you. Um, and I really want to get you guys started right. Um, so just so you know, I'm home today. I've got a sick kid, so I'm home. She's actually sleeping right now. She has the stomach flu. Um, so <clears throat> I have an opportunity, I guess, to just do a couple of things that I wouldn't normally during my working day. And so what I want to do is just explain to you guys a little bit today about what you should focus on when you're first starting out with your business so that you can have a lot of success and you can really see the value that this business has for your life. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to give you, um, let's see, I've got five things today that I think are really going to be doable next action steps for you and are really going to give you clarity about what it is you should be doing when you start working your business. Okay, so number one is the thing that I tell all coaches right away is the first thing that you really need to just focus on is sharing your story. So taking some time to write down what is your story with Beachbody? Um, how did you transform when you started using the products? What was the inner transformation that happened? Um, what pain points did you have that a lot of people can relate to that you were able to somehow solve through Beachbody, whether it's the program, the business side of things, whatever it might be, and really taking some time to craft your story. For me, my story was really around being a mom who was, hi Holly, um, Holly, I hope you're taking notes because it's going to be good. Um, my story was really about being a mom that was overwhelmed um, and knew that some things needed to change so that I could get the results that I wanted but didn't really know where to start. And the nutrition plan from Portion Fix and the 21 Day Fix really helped me get there. Um, but your story is going to be really unique to you. So the first thing that you really need to be focusing on is just sharing your story about Beachbody. How did Beachbody help you? How did Shakeology help you? How did um, just being a part of the community of a challenge group help you? So really taking time to craft your story and then share it on social media. Um, I'll get a little bit more into that in my next step. But if you do nothing else, if you take nothing else away from this live video, um, sharing your story should be the first thing that you focus on. And sharing it in a way that's relatable to people. Um, so the next tip, so number two, so number one is sharing your story. That's the first thing you really need to just focus on. And you can share your story, you guys, in person, on social media, um, whatever, you know, just be genuine about it. Share your story. Number two is uh, I want to talk about posting because there's a lot of different, you know, schools of thought around posting, but you do need to be posting. Um, there's a couple tips that I have for you. Number one, when you're first starting out, I would pick a platform that you want to post on. Um, for me, generally, um, the I get most of my business, I would say 90% of my business from Facebook. So I tend to focus a little bit more of my energy there because I get just a lot more traction for my business. Um, when I post though, I really think about adding value and I think about quality over quantity. So I know so many people say you should be posting two to three times a day. And you know, I often don't do that. I usually maybe will post, I, I for sure post once a day. I always post something once a day. Um, but I don't, I really focus on what is it this post going to offer for people? So I really make it about the people that I want to serve. So maybe it's a funny post about my family. Maybe it's um, something about running. Maybe it's an actual like sharing my story post where I have a call to action at the end. But what I do with my posts and what I really think about is creating curiosity, not resistance. So when I post, you'll never see me hardly ever use beach body language. Like I never really talk about specific programs or Shakeology. I just post about my journey. I just post about what it is that I'm doing. Um, 
I also use a lot of I statements. So the reason I use I statements in my posts is because no one likes to be projected upon and no one likes to be um, I, and when I, no one likes to be told how they're feeling. So instead of saying you are probably feeling you're doing this or you might struggle with or you, I say I struggle with, I've been dealing with this, this has been my story because you know what? No one can argue with that. That is how I feel. That is my story. Um, and at the end of that post, I usually offer like a call to action or some encouragement. So I'll say, you know, for all of you that are you know, having a bad momming day, you know, or um, struggling with, you know, not stress eating, whatever it might be that I'm talking about in that post, I just want to offer you up some encouragement today and just let you know that, you know, you can do it, you know, whatever it might be. So I always think about what am I going to offer to people and what can I, what value can I bring to them? And so it doesn't matter to me if you're posting three times a day or one time a day, but what you really want to focus on is the quality of your post. And then the other piece with that is you want posts that give you a lot of traction. So it's not necessarily the amount that you're posting to Facebook or Instagram that matters. It's about the quality and the response. So if you have a post and you post something and it's getting a ton of likes and comments and shares, that post, the way Facebook works, is going to show up in a lot of different people's news feeds. So what you want is you want posts that have a lot of action and traction on them. You, it doesn't matter how many times you post. You could post four or five times a day and Facebook might start to go, okay, well, I'm not going to put you in the feed. If you're getting like three likes on your posts, it's probably not showing up. People probably are not seeing it. So you really need to kind of dig in and say, okay, what is getting a lot of traction and do more of that. So for me, I get a lot of traction from parenting posts. So I do more parenting posts. I get a lot of traction from, you know, posting just about my life, about things that I like. So I do more of that so people can get to know me and I'm in, I'm engaging them in, in curiosity so they, they just want to know a little bit more about what I do versus creating resistance. The last thing you want to do is create resistance for people by thinking by them looking at your post and going, oh, she's just another one of those network marketers that's trying to sell me something. That's not what we want. We want to add value to people. We want people to really know, like, and trust us. And so a lot of that has to do with just posting things that that generate response for people. Okay. So number one, sharing your story. Number two is posting. And again, think about quality over quantity and traction with that post. You want a lot of action with your post. Okay. Number three, this kind of goes with posting, but go live. Going live on Facebook, I know is scary, but Facebook likes its live feature and it will, um, it'll reward you for going live. So if you <clears throat> are one of those people that's really nervous, just take something that you already know about. The the thing that I do in live videos, honestly, is I, I use this, this equation, I guess. It's invest, learn, and teach. So when I read something that you know, is helpful. Maybe it's a nutrition tip. Maybe I've listened to a podcast about, you know, 10 tips to sleep well or whatever it might be. I write some notes down and then I just teach people about it. So whatever I listen to, whatever I learned, I just teach people. It doesn't, you don't even have to be doing it. Like I could go live about, you know, 10 ways to, um, go to sleep easier. And I might not be using any of those tricks, but as long as I'm adding value to them and as long as I've provided them with something that might be helpful, that's all that matters. So, you know, sometimes I do things like I'll take a challenge group post, a post that I do in my challenge group, and I'll make a live video out of that. So it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. It's just about as you learn things and you're sharing, you're finding things that work for you or um, you know, whatever, just go live about that. You know, I tend to try to go live about two to three times a week and it honestly has really moved my business forward. So I encourage you to just really take the leap and go for it. If it makes you nervous, go live first in your challenge group so that you can just get comfortable with the features and you can get comfortable doing it. And then, you know, really push yourself to go live to the greater Facebook audience. And you know what? Not a lot of people go live. So this is something to really like hone in on. Okay, number four, I wanna talk about Success Club because a lot of questions come up about Success Club, what it is, how you get it, what does it mean? So Success Club is a measurement tool. 
Success Club was created by, you know, the powers that be at Beachbody that said, you know, when we look at successful coaches and what they're doing, what we notice is that they're bringing in between two to three new people, or I'm sorry, three to five probably new people a, um, a month. So not existing um, customers who are just, you know, reordering their Shakeology, but people who are actually coming in new to your business. So they provide a reward for you, and that's called Success Club, when you are able to do that. You can hit Success Club 5, that's the first benchmark, or you can hit Success Club 10, that's the second one, or you can hit you know, higher than that, above that. So what you get for Success Club is you typically will get a monthly prize, like it'll be something small, like sometimes it'll be a really cool webinar with a really famous speaker, sometimes it'll be, you know, um, packets of beach body performance that you can try, sometimes it's a backpack, whatever it might be. But what Success Club does is it it tells Beachbody, this person is serious, this person is really trying to move their business forward. And they they will, you know, they want to reward you. They want to incentivize you. So you get a little something for it. You hit Success Club by um, either selling a home direct order of Shakeology, which is um, two Success Club points, or I think you can even do Daily Sunshine as well. Um, or you can get Success Club points for people buying a challenge pack. And I typically really try to get people set up for a challenge pack because that's the whole package. They get the nutrition and they get the workouts all in one. And so, and it's a, such a great deal. Um, right now, you know, of course we have the all access challenge pack, which is the year's worth of workouts, the portion fixed containers, a month's worth of Shakeology for 160. You really cannot beat it. So I always try to get people signed up with a challenge pack, even if they're not planning on staying with Shakeology for a long time, because you know sometimes they'll get it and then they do fall in love and they do stay on it. And sometimes, and it's usually just the thing that gets them going and gets them that immediate win so that they wanna stay kind of your lifer. They wanna stay with you. So Success Club is a measurement tool for your business. Um, and it's how you know Beachbody knows that you are moving your business forward. Now, if you hit Success Club the first three months of your business, so you hit it the first month you sign up, the next, the next, you actually get a free ticket to Summit, which is Beachbody's huge convention that they have in the middle of summer. It's usually in July, um, where they have speakers and you know, just it's an awesome event. I'm actually, I'm going this summer, um, and it it's something that can really just start to, once you hit it, it's like you, like you wanna hit it again because it's just kind of an incentivizing thing. Personally, I always try to hit Success Club 10 and I'm gonna talk about that in a second as to why. Okay, so this, the fifth thing and the last thing is Emerald Rank. And I wanna talk about that because that's gonna be the first rank that you hit in your business and it's a really big deal and here is why. So when you hit Emerald Rank, which means that you are a coach, but if you think about, you know, you're at the top of a triangle and then you got two little legs, you have one coach on one side, one coach on the other. So all you need to do to hit Emerald is to sign up two coaches underneath you. Um, the reason Emerald is so important is because of a couple of reasons. So number one, Emerald signals that you are open for business. You are growing a team. You are going to really take this thing seriously. And the other big benefit of Emerald is you start to get um, what are called leads. So leads are people who are signed, that sign up for a Beachbody program through an infomercial or just have gone to the website and ordered without, like, without doing it through a coach. And they're just kind of these like free customers that are floating around. Well, when you hit Emerald Rank, you start to get those leads as your customers. So you will, um, you'll see once you hit Emerald Rank and you hit Success Club, you get a lead. Now, this is what's super cool. So the, if you hit Success Club 5 and you're in Emerald Rank, you get a lead and you won't get the commission for the very first purchase they make, but any purchases that they make after, you receive the commission for. However, if you're Emerald Rank and you hit Success Club 10, you actually get the commission from those leads. So. Um, that's why I always hit, try to hit Success Club 10 is because you could literally be making an extra $150, $200 a week by doing nothing, just by being, by just by your rank of Emerald and hitting Success Club 10. So it's a really amazing thing to try to do. Um, the other thing with Emerald is you start to get 
um, passive income for how your team performs. So once you have two coaches underneath you, if they start helping more people, they start hitting success club, they start getting people, um, you know, set up with a challenge pack or into a beach body program, whatever it might be, you will receive what are called team cycle bonuses. And team cycle bonuses are basically just like free money that's given to you for the success of your team. It's a bonus. It's not, you never, it's never taken away from you. It's never, you're never penalized. Um, but you get that bonus for being an emerald rank. So emerald rank can be achieved really quickly. Um, all it really means is that you have one coach underneath you on one side, one coach underneath you on others. A lot of beach buddy coaches, myself included, I signed my husband up underneath me so that he could be my first coach and I could control that side of my business. I would highly recommend doing that. Um, I actually didn't do this right away and I kind of screwed myself over with my downline um, because I signed up two coaches that weren't my husband underneath me. I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm like, okay, sure, you wanna be a coach? Here, here, here. So I signed them up and I hit Emerald Rank and then I kinda didn't know what I was doing and one of the coaches quit the business and then kinda everything, like it, it, it wasn't a huge deal but it just kind of made things harder than it needed to be. So I would highly recommend getting two people underneath you if you can that are you know wanting to work the business are serious about it. So my husband, I can control that. Um, he's not working the business, but I can control that. Um, and then I have Jenna, my you know who you all know, but Jenna Marshall, um, who is my best friend and is extremely serious about the business, and she's on the other side. So I try to make your rank as stable as possible right away. There's lots of different ways that you can do it. There's lots of different training videos on YouTube about Emerald Rank and how you can get there. Um, but I'm just gonna share with you that it's something, a benchmark in your business that you really should be going for. And really easy way to get Emerald Rank right away is just to sign up people for the discount. They're called discount coaches. Um, but a lot of times I sign up people for the discount so they get, they're a coach and they get the 25% off. But they, um, and then I just put them into our team page and I just keep working on them. And I keep saying, you know, we can get your product paid for. We can help you make some money doing this. And then they convert to coaches. So it's something that, um, it's something that you can really, you can do and it's, it's not that hard to do as well. So those are my tips, you guys. I hope you found them helpful. Um, so number one is, you know, the first and foremost, the first thing to focus on is really just sharing your story with Beachbody. Number two is posting. Um, I just realized one thing I forgot to say in, in posting, besides quality over quantity and you know making sure that your posts are getting a lot of action, make sure your posts for the most part have a picture attached to them that's scroll stopping because um, you want people to like, you know, not just scroll through, like they, they wanna like see you and just like pause and look at that picture. So your picture wants to be attention grabbing. Um, number three is to go live. I know it's scary. You know, even push yourself to just go live once a week. And you know, again, it's just investing, learning, and teaching. So it doesn't have to be overcomplicated, doesn't have to be long. Number four is success club. So success club is a, a measurement tool. Um, you hit success club points by selling challenge packs or um, home direct orders of Shakeology or Daily Sunshine. You get two success club points for each of those. Um, and then number five is hitting Emerald Rank, which means you have two coaches underneath you on each side of your of your business center. So those are my tips, you guys. I hope you find them really helpful and I hope that they give you some action steps today. If you are watching this, even if you're catching the replay, could you comment below about what, I know Holly's on, but could you comment below about what you're going to do to move your business forward or what tip one of these really like got you kind of amped up, got you excited about what you really, like the next goal, the next step for you, because that will help me know how I can help you. Um, so let me know what you're thinking. I would love to hear your comments and that's it. Have a great day, you guys. Talk to you soon.